Welcome Eagles fans. This is the Gambling Hippie with some Eagles news. So, wasn't going to make a video about the Eagles injuries during the um, playoff game against Seattle just because I felt like it was just a reason that we lost. Like, hey, we lost because of this. Well, um, not only did we lose Carson Wentz, of course, um, with the helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit um, where his head bounced off the turf as well. Um, no one's going to survive that and be able to play in today's NFL. Like, it's just not. It was an independent specialist that ended up ruling him out for the game, so it wasn't even our coaching staff or our medical team. But now, it's come out that Josh McCown tore his hamstring or his hammy away from his bone and played on it the entire game. I, I watched him and I thought he just pulled it a little bit when he pulled up and he grabbed his ass. Um, but now it comes out that he actually did tear it away from the bone. And he still finished the game and we still only lost by eight points. So just think if we might have had Nate Sudfield on the roster or if they would have put Greg Ward back there a little bit and had him running around throwing the ball deep or something because he used to play quarterback. He's not a scrub. Like, he hasn't thrown in a long time. But, you know, maybe not have him out there for, like, all the slants and all these special post routes and ends, all these different, like, specialty routes that, you know, he may not be used to where, you know, exactly, oh, they have to go four yards and then cut or three yards and then cut, like, those kind of plays. But, hey, shoot, have him run out, have him a screen option, have him be able to roll out and run the ball, and then a guy running deep. That gives him two options where he knows where the people are going to be, and then he can run. And maybe that would have changed the game a little bit. But maybe they didn't know how hurt he actually was. Adrenaline pumping through Josh McCown. Maybe he just didn't know that he was that hampered. But he still kept us in the game till you know, the end with only eight points being needed. Um, and, you know, maybe it's a little bit of Doug's fault too. Not going to put the blame all on him. But, you know, we kicked a couple field goals, and then you don't need that eight points. At that point, you know, you kick two field goals, you only need one. And it could have been a different game. But that's, you know, I love Doug Peterson for his aggressiveness and going forward on fourth down. So I'm never going to fault him for if we lose a game because he was aggressive early on. It's just not what I'm going to do. I love how aggressive he is, and I want him to keep doing that, keep being the guy who goes for it on fourth down more than any other team in the NFL. That's what I want. I want to watch a fun, exciting football game. Um, that's why I tune in. Um, I've been an Eagles fan for a long time, but that's what I love about Doug Peterson. It's just how aggressive he is compared to other coaches. It just makes it more exciting to watch Eagles football. Anyways, guys, fly, Eagles, fly. I'm going to have more content about the Eagles coming up. Um, just keep checking in. Enjoy ourselves.